Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually excited to share with you my process in creating this logo. So let's jump into it. So I first sketched out the logo, scanned it, and then I started working on it on my PC. You can see that I'm using the pen tool to trace over the image to draw the outlines. I remember when I first created this sketch and took my sister's opinion of it. She's an artist too. I like to get some fresh perspective and constructive criticism from her. And she thought it looked like a font written with pancake batter. <laughs> a list of a font made to be in the end, if you know what I mean. So that's why sometimes I get hesitant to share the sketches with my clients, since most of the times I think they are way too far from the image they have in mind, until I do some magic on it digitally. So usually my sketches are messy, and I only start to do my magic once I switch to my PC. Anyways, back to the piece. Here I was adjusting the letters a bit before working on the neon effects. Using the selection tool, I adjusted the curves that seemed a bit distorted. So I added a dark background behind the logo. And then I used my client's reference picture to pick the color gradient he wanted me to use. So I use the eyedropper tool to pick the shades, but at the end of the video you'll find that I just use stronger and brighter shades instead. <laughs> so here I just created my color palette. Now let's move on to the fun part, adding some neon effects. Honestly, it was my first time to create this kind of neon logo. And it's funny that while I was editing this video and watching my own process, I thought it looked more like I was just trying things out, switching between the layers, adjusting the values, I'm not gonna lie, I was basically just playing around with it and figuring things out most of the time. Anyways, back to the piece. Um, the main effects I use here are Gaussian Blur and uh, the Outer Glow effect. I also use the Pathfinder tab option several times to create the background outlines you'll see in the next few seconds. So here I wanted to create a rough white outline behind it, so I used my paintbrush tool and in a new layer I started drawing some lines as shadows. I intended to make this white outline slightly messy, yet smooth, just to match the vibe of the font or the overall piece. I don't think I followed any rules in creating this logo. <laughs> Some or most of my favorite works actually depend on my freestyle, where I just go with what looks really right to my eyes. And here I added some highlights, and this made the neon vibe pop even more. Alright, let's pause this video for a second. The result I reached earlier looked great, but I realized I made the glow more on the inside of the letters instead of the outside. And this wasn't really the vision I had when I started. The one at the right is the final result where I kept the glow mainly on the outside and reduced the inner glow. So continue watching the next couple seconds to see how I did it.
And now we'll head over to my favorite part, adding some drippings. And I really like it when this slimy effect just combines with the nails. I haven't mentioned it earlier in this video, but I'm using my Wacom tablet to help me create this piece. I truly find it helpful to create such smooth curves and actually take control over the shape overall. So in the description below, I left you the link for the Wacom tablet I used in this video, so you can check it out. And in adding the final touches, I enhanced the colors even more and went for strong bright shades. For me, I feel like it's always a rule that I don't stick with the colors I picked out first. <laughs> in the background, I added another outline layer just behind the white outlines I added previously. I matched the outline to the letter's color. So like for the T, I went for pink. Then for the letter R, I went for purple and so on. So yeah, here's the final result. If you guys enjoyed watching my art process, please leave a thumbs up and I will really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel to see more of my speed arts and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.